Uvalde CISD staff, parents, community members, Dr. Hal Harrell, your school superintendent, back at you with another summer update on uh, our weekly updates. So first thing I want to start off with, yesterday an email was sent out to all the parents and we've also talked to the staff members that there's going to be an instructional alignment change uh, that I just need to brief you on and make sure that we all understand. As we talked earlier in the summer, that third and fourth grade was going to be at Flores campus. We tried and tried to make that work, make that accommodation, but uh, when we still continue to work, we found that Benson campus, the Benson Educational Complex here, 601 Dean Street, was going to be a much uh, better situation site for our third and fourth grade students. So our third and fourth grade students, along with the third and fourth grade teachers, the administration from Rob, and all the support staff will be here at this location. Uh, cafeteria will be in full force. The campus will be strictly third and fourth grade. Uh, but I wanted to make sure everybody had that update. You may ask, what's, where's Crossroads going? Crossroads is going to our property on Oppenheimer Street. Floors, what, what will be at Floors? Floors will be just fifth and sixth grade as it was last year. So lots going on. I wanted to update you on those changes. Uh, so if you've got any questions, please, please call me at Central Office or uh, Ms. Gutierrez uh, if you've got any questions. As we talked about grade level alignments and those changes, I do want to announce and say a big thank you to our Uvalde CISD PTO. So it's through their efforts of this organization, school supplies for students pre-K through eighth grade will be provided free of charge for the 22-23 school year. I would like to extend my gratitude to Goldman Sachs and Education Products Incorporated who have donated the kit for each student that includes all the items that the on the district school supply list. EPI kits will ship directly to your child's campus for them to be there on the first day. The Uvalde CISD PTO and myself express a huge thank you to Goldman Sachs and EPI for making this possible through their combined contributions of over $100,000. So thank you very much EPI, Goldman Sachs, and Uvalde CISD PTO. I want to give you a quick update on our safety and security measures and that are currently ongoing. So our Dalton perimeter fencing has been shipped. We should receive that tomorrow. We have ordered our uh, more and additional security cameras as well as the door strikes and the electronic strikes for the doors. And we had interviews this week for additional police staff. The interviews went very well. Uh, we'll continue to interview and take those steps as necessary to make sure our campuses are very safe, very secure, for the first day of school. As we move around a little bit, I'm here at Uvalde High School. I wanna talk about the bridge camp that's upcoming for our early college high school students. Uh, bridge camp will take place next week. That is Monday, July the 18th, and will last through Friday, July 22nd. This will be in the Uvalde High School cafeteria. It'll begin at 8 a.m. and last till 1 p.m. We'll also provide breakfast and lunch but students, please come with your iPad fully charged and your Southwest Texas Junior College acceptance letter. But if you have any questions about Early College High School and uh, the Bridge Camp, call Ms. Gonzalez at 591-2950, extension 6117. That is the Early College High School counselor, Mrs. Gonzalez. Look forward to seeing you. Next announcement, parents and students, I want to remind you that football and volleyball camps are coming up and due to a generous donation, the sports camp registration fees have all been paid. So I encourage parents to visit the athletics website or call the athletic department for details on the upcoming sports camps. Great opportunity for our students to participate in the sports camps free of charge due to the generosity of somebody who supports and loves Uvalde. So thank you. This next one, we need to make a little announcement, give a little shout out to our Sahawi Summer Shows. The Uvalde community is invited to the 62nd annual Sahawi Summer Shows every Friday and Saturday during the month of July. Showtime is at 7.30 at the Sahawi Dancers Building at the corner of Southwood and East Garden Street, right across the street from HEB. The Summer Shows are free performances with prizes and concession stand. You are all invited to the Sahawi Summer Shows. Community members, I want to inform you that next Monday, that's the 18th, the regular school board meeting will be held at the Uvalde High School Auditorium, the John H. Harrell Auditorium. 
The regular board meeting will start at 6.30, and this is a business meeting, which we have to go through the, the agenda and uh, address certain business items. However, there will be a special board meeting prior to that, which will begin at 5.30 and last till 6.15. Same place here at the John H. Harrell Auditorium. Uh, I've heard a call from the community to provide an opportunity to have an open dialogue with our community. This special board meeting is specifically to offer the opportunity for open dialogue with our community before the 6.30 p.m. regular board meeting. So if you would like to come and address the board, myself, uh, that regular meeting starts at 6.30, but that special meeting will start at 5.30, and that will still be here at the John H. Harrell Auditorium. As we come to the close of another set of announcements, summer announcements, I just want to reassure you that we are working diligently on the safety, security, enhancements throughout the district. And I'm from Uvalde, I believe in Uvalde, I love Uvalde, and I'm gonna do all I can for Uvalde. So I'll continue to pray for our community